Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our YouTube channel. Today, we bring you an intriguing and poignant biography of a remarkable woman whose extraordinary life and tragic death left an indelible mark on history. Join us as we explore the captivating story of Nori Nayef Khan, an unsung heroine of World War II. This video will shed light on her journey, struggles, and ultimate sacrifice. Born on January 1, 1914, in Moscow, Russia, Nori Nayef Khan was the daughter of Hazreti Nayef Khan, a prominent Sufi mystic and musician, and Ora Ray Baker, an American from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Nor's upbringing was deeply influenced by her father's spiritual teachings, emphasizing love, peace, and harmony. The family moved frequently, and Noor spent her childhood in various countries, including England and France. Her multicultural background fostered a sense of empathy and a deep appreciation for different cultures. Little did she know that her diverse upbringing would prepare her for the incredible challenges she would face in the future. Noor's early life was filled with creativity, as she demonstrated a keen interest in writing stories and composing music. She received a comprehensive education and was fluent in multiple languages, including English, French, and German. In 1939, Noor and her family relocated to Paris, France, where she began working on a children's book titled Twenty Jataka Tales, which sought to convey spiritual and moral lessons to young readers. This project showcased Noor's deep-rooted desire to make a positive impact on the world around her. In September 1939, World War II erupted, casting a dark shadow over Europe. Noor's life took a dramatic turn as she made the decision to join the war effort, driven by a profound sense of duty and her belief in fighting injustice. Noor's desire to contribute led her to enlist in the Women's Auxiliary Air Force, WAAF, in November 1940, where she underwent training as a wireless operator. Her exceptional intelligence and linguistic abilities caught the attention of her superiors, and she was subsequently selected for specialized training in covert operations. Nori Nayef Khan's true calling came when she joined the Special Operations Executive, SOE, a British organization focused on espionage and sabotage behind enemy lines. Nor's skills as a wireless operator and her fluency in multiple languages made her an ideal candidate for undercover work in occupied France. In June 1943, Noor was commissioned as a second lieutenant and given the codename Madeline as part of her covert identity. With her cover established, she embarked on her perilous mission as a radio operator for the French section of the SOE. Noor's contributions to the war effort were nothing short of heroic. She worked tirelessly, transmitting critical intelligence to the Allies and coordinating resistance efforts with local networks in France. Despite the constant threat of capture by the Gestapo, she remained resolute and determined to aid the resistance at all costs. Noor's bravery and dedication were exemplified in her decision to continue her work despite the capture and execution of many of her fellow agents. She tirelessly evaded detection and stayed one step ahead of the enemy, earning the admiration and respect of her comrades. Unfortunately, in October 1943, Noor's luck ran out. She was betrayed by a Frenchwoman working with the Gestapo and was arrested while attempting to escape to England. The enemy agents discovered her wireless transmitter, which contained vital intelligence. Despite enduring brutal interrogations and torture, Noor refused to divulge any information about her comrades or compromise the resistance networks she had helped establish. Her resilience in the face of unimaginable suffering showcased her unwavering loyalty and unwavering commitment to her cause. Noor's captors imprisoned her in various locations, including the infamous Pforzheim prison in Germany. She was subjected to cruel conditions, 
but even in the midst of her own suffering, she showed compassion and care for her fellow prisoners, providing solace and support in their darkest hours. As the war drew closer to its end, Nor's captors became increasingly desperate to break her spirit. Yet, she remained defiant until the very end, refusing to give up her mission or compromise the safety of her comrades. On September 13, 1944, Nor Inayath Khan and three other female SOE agents were transferred to the Dachau concentration camp. In the early hours of September 12, 1944, they were led to the gallows and executed. Nor's selfless sacrifice and unwavering courage in the face of adversity continue to inspire and resonate with people around the world. Nori Nayath Khan's extraordinary contributions to the war effort did not receive immediate recognition. It wasn't until after the war that her bravery and sacrifice were acknowledged. In 1949, she was posthumously awarded the George Cross, the highest civilian award for bravery in the United Kingdom. Nor's legacy lives on through her family, friends, and countless individuals who continue to be inspired by her remarkable story. Her life serves as a shining example of courage, resilience, and unwavering dedication to the principles of freedom and justice. As we conclude this biography of Nori Nayef Khan, we are reminded of the countless unsung heroes who played pivotal roles during times of darkness. Noor's story serves as a poignant reminder that bravery knows no boundaries and that even in the face of overwhelming adversity, the human spirit can rise above and make a lasting impact. Let us honor the memory of Nori Nayef Khan and all those who sacrificed their lives for a better world. May their stories continue to inspire and remind us of the power of compassion, determination, and unwavering resilience. Thank you for joining us today on this journey into the life and death of Noor Inayath Khan. If you found this video informative and inspiring, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more compelling stories from history. Until next time, remember to never forget the remarkable individuals who shaped our world.